Hey guys, happy Thursday. This is your girl, Vitamin E, and I am bringing you the afternoon vitamin, okay? All right, so today, um, today's topic is probably going to have some people with their feelings. Um, however, I think that it needs to be said, okay? Um, today's topic is called what about your friends okay um i think that in 2019 um we use the word friend very loosely okay um you know nowadays in the age of social media you meet somebody you have a few drinks you guys take a few selfies together and you dub each other friends um, you haven't been through anything together. You haven't been through any seasons together. You haven't been in, um, into, like, you haven't gone into any highs and lows together, but you are friends, you know what I'm saying? Because you go out and you party and you might have a few things in common. However, that does not make that person your friend. A friend is someone that you have history with a friend is someone that supports you a friend is there when you know your life is falling apart and they're there to build build you up a friend is someone through your darkest you know what i'm saying through your most darkest times they're there um through your happiest time they're there and they support you genuinely okay they genuinely support you they genuinely want to see you thrive. They genuinely want to see you glow up. They genuinely want to see you elevate. Those are your friends. Those are people that literally will ride and die for you. And even behind your back, okay? When people are talking shit about you, they're the first one to check somebody behind you. They're the ones that's going to sit there and go back and be like, listen, so-and-so is talking about you and this is what I said. That is what a friend is that's the definition of a friend okay along with some other adjectives that we can use for a friend all right um some people pretend like they're your friends okay they because they're cowards they they need to feed off of your energy they need to they need to be in the know of what is going on with your life, okay? They want to know if you're winning, all right? Because then they could go back, you know, to their little miserable-ass lives and be like, well, why are you winning? Because deep down inside, they don't feel like you're deserving of the blessing that God is bestowing upon you, okay? Because they feel like that blessing should be, you know... That blessing should be for them. So deep down inside, they're not happy when you're winning. Deep down inside, every time you win, okay, it annoys the hell out of them. Every time you win, it pisses them off. Every time you win, it makes them feel some kind of way because their shit ain't popping and they're watching you. So while they're sitting there pressing likes and while they're sitting there and telling you how proud of you they are, while they're telling you that you're their girl, deep down inside... They're praying for your downfall, okay? They're praying that your life falls back to get um falls back apart. They're praying that you go back to doing the old stuff that you were doing that wasn't causing you to elevate. Um some of your so-called friends, as soon as you turn your back, they're talking shit about you. You can't tell whether they're your enemies or your friends because it's all the same thing. As soon as you turn your back, they're telling all your damn business to somebody else, okay? They're lying on you and telling stories about you behind your back, all right? Things that you told them in confidence, they're spilling the shit out of that tea to somebody else, all right? that doesn't like you or somebody that don't need to be knowing your business but that's what they do because they're not really your friend and you know furthermore they think that you don't know like they're like oh yeah she doesn't know because they think that they're doing something special me personally for people like that i typically when I know somebody's like that, I kind of let them hang themselves and see like how far they're willing to go because I'm not a stupid person. Like everything that is done in the dark eventually always comes in light. You know what I'm saying? So when people 
you know, think they're getting over on you. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's good to play stupid and play along and let the fool that thinks that they're fooling you, you know what I'm saying, pretty much hang themselves. So people will talk shit about you and talk about they your friend and thinking that it's not going to get out. And then the person that they told will come back and tell you, you know, will tell you exactly what was said. And if you watch how certain people move, they will always show you whether they're a friend for real or if they're your friend of me, okay? If you're telling somebody something positive that's going on in your life and the first thing that pops out of their mouth is somebody, something negative, that is not your friend. That is somebody that really secretly is praying for your downfall, okay? If you have a friend that only wants to be there when you're just miserable and you're crying, and that's when they want to be like, oh, what's going on? Just so you can tell them your story so they can feel good about themselves because you're doing pretty shitty right now. That's not your friend because a friend is not just there to cry with you. A friend is actually there to laugh with you and celebrate with you when you're triumphant. And a lot of these frauds out here, okay, they don't have the fortitude. They don't have the balls to sit there and just tell you how they really feel about you and the amount of jealousy and envy and strife in their heart towards you. Okay, they don't have that kind of willpower to stay away with away from you and just not fuck with you because secretly deep down inside they don't like you. If you talk to other people, people will tell you like, "Hey, so and so thinks you're X Y Z." The minute they get, the minute they have the opportunity to see to say something negative about you and bash you, bruh, they run with it. They take it. Why? Because they're not your friends. Okay. They're your freaking enemy, all right? They're just doing recon because they want to know what you're doing so they can stay one step ahead of the game so they, you know, so they could try to so-called outdo you, all right? So you got to be careful when you're sitting there and allowing certain people into your space, allowing certain people into your life, and just calling everybody and anybody your friend because your circle can make or break you. Your circle could either elevate you or it can bring you down. Okay? Your circle could either bring you positive energy, growth, elevation, or it could bring you depression. It could bring you drama. All right? It could bring you low energy. All right? And some of these same people wonder why their lives are always shitty and dramatic. That's because God knows your little roach heart. Okay? And God knows that inside your heart like it's not, you know, you're not genuine. Alright? You don't have any love in your heart. Your heart is filled with envy. Your, your heart is filled with jealousy. Okay? Your heart is filled with fakeness. Your heart is filled with drama, okay? Your heart is just not pure. And so, therefore, the universe will never reward you. And you'll always be sitting there doing recon, all right? With people that you're watching and wondering why they're getting blessed. And you're still sitting in the same roach space that you've been sitting on or sitting in for a very long time. So be careful with the whole friend. Everybody is not your friend. Just because you have a meal with somebody, that doesn't make you your friend. Just because you sat there and took a few, you know, selfies, a few shots together does not make them your friend. It doesn't. There's a, there's a proverb. Show me who your friends are and I'll tell you who you are. It's real. Stop calling everybody your friend. Okay? Some of these frauds out here are not friends. They're frauds. They don't like you. They don't fuck with you. They just don't have the balls to tell you to your face that they don't like your ass. And secretly, okay, they're praying for your da downfall. Alright? Every time you go to them and cry and tell them how shitty your life is, they like that because they don't like you. Alright, this is your girl Vitamin with today's Afternoon Vitamin. Peace, love, and light.